Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and today we're bringing you something special. We are doing a 2,000-point battle report with my Nurgle versus Raphael's Fire Slayers. We are going to go through the lists right now. So here is my 2,000 points of Magakin of Nurgle. We have in the back the Great Unclean One. He has Foul Conqueror, which uh, lets me use... Uh, at the double for free once per turn on Rotbringers. And he has the Wither Stave for an artifact uh, that makes uh, a enemy units reroll sixes to hit within 12 inches of him. Uh, I'm running the Blight Sist Battalion. So I've got five Blight Kings, ten Blight Kings, ten Blight Kings, five Blight Kings, Gut Rot Spume, Lord of B Blights. Gut Rot's going to get a unit of 10 Blight Kings to deep strike off the board edge. And then a unit of 4 Pusquale Blight Lords. I'm running the Blessed Sons Host. So that's going to make my guys do Mortal Wounds back uh, when they die. So they blow up. And for uh, the artifact for that host, the Blot Shell Bioplate that is going on my Lord of Blights, and with my last 40 points, I spent them on the Soul Snare Shackles. And, oh, almost forgot the spell on my Great Unclean one uh, is, oh geez, I'm forgetting the name of it now, but uh, 21 inches, goes off on a 6, and uh, it halves the move and run of an enemy unit. Alright, so this is Raphael. And down here is his 2,000 points of Fire Slayers. All right, so this is a 1990 Fire Slayer list. Uh, it's a Hemdar Lodge, and uh, uh, this is the battalion, Lords of the Lodge, that brings a uh, Rune Father of Magmadroth, Auric, uh, uh, Rune Smiter, and Rune Master. And I'm bringing a 20 man unit of. Hearthguard Berserkers with Broad Axis. I'm also bringing a Rune Smiter and I'm bringing Hearthguard Berserkers with um, Flame Strike Pole Axis and another 20 man unit of Hearthguard Berserkers with um, Broad Axis here. And I'm bringing the Flame Spitter and the Firewall. Um, for the the blessings I'm taking the prayer of ash for the rune smiter and I'm bringing ember storm for the rune master and 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 I have a tyrant slayer for the battles battlesmith and I have warrior and dominance for the rune father on magma drop ostian glow helm and cold heart ancient for the magma drop trade All right, and for those of you that are interested, down in the description below, we will have both of the army lists. So you can go down in the description and check those out. All right, so the first critical role of the game is our role for deployment, because we are both on four drops. So let's see what we get. Oh, we got a reroll. The drama already. I got a five. Raphael's got a one, so I get first deployment. So we are going to set up the board and start deploying. All right, so this is our battlefield for the game. We've got a bunch of line of sight blocking terrain here. And for our scenario, we are going to be playing our new scenario in 2020, the Blade's Edge. Uh, we're scoring one point at the end of each turn for each objective that we control and each battle round after the first, the player going second in the battle round gets to remove an objective from the board. So this should be a really interesting game. So we are going to go set up and then we'll go over the armies. All right. So we are fully deployed over here on the left flank, moving left to right. I've got a unit of five blight Kings Unit of Ten Blight Kings, Lord of Blights, Great Unclean One, 
Puskoil Blight Lords, and five more Blight Kings, and then Gutrot Spume, and ten Blight Kings in reserve. And over on the Fire Slayer side, we have the two units of 20 Hearthguard Berserkers on the table, and the Magma Droth in the middle, and where are your other heroes hanging out? Right here. Yep. Right here, the Battlesmith and the and the Rune Master. All right. Right by the forge, and then we got ten, ten uh, Hearthguard Berserkers on reserve with the Rune Spider. All right. And starting off early in the game, we have Raphael committing pretty hard to one side of the board and leaving this objective over here seemingly unattended. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I got a roll for the cycle of contagion, and we get a four. That brings us to the worst one, Plague of Misery. Reroll Battleshock tests for rolls of one for units that are not Nurgle. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is give my great unclean one plus one to cast, uh, and then he heals D3 wounds, so he'll just heal that right back right away. And then we are going to use it to cast Foul Regenesis, and it fails. All right, so with that failure to move the Cycle of Contagion, I am going to move to the movement phase because I don't really have anything else going on right now. Uh, and we'll see where we end up after movement. All right, so after the first movement phase, I moved up on the right flank and on the left flank with those two units of five Blight Kings just up onto the corner objectives. In the center... These Blight Kings moved up uh, as far as they could. Um, they uh, moved six uh, to run. Blight, uh, Lord of Blights moved up, and the Grey Unclean one moved up. Got 14 inch move out of the Pasquale Blight Lords that are grabbing that objective over on Raphael's side of the board. And then over here in the corner, we've got Gutrot Spume and his boys ready to do some damage coming in on the side. So, uh, we have no shooting attacks, so we are going to go to the charge phase. Alright, so that unit of Blight Kings over with Gutrot Spume is going to try and make a charge. And it is a 7 with the modifier. So they do not get it, but I will spend a command point for the reroll. And it is a six, so they fail. All right, this unit of Blight Kings in the middle here, they're going to try and make a charge. They need a 10 on the dice to get there. What do we get? Oh, uh, almost made it. Got a nine. A nine. Not quite it. And then over here, the... Puscoil Blight Lords are going to give that charge a try over there. They got an 11, so they can go wherever they want. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to move them in. I'm just going to go real simple with this. Go like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And just pin you over there. Uh, so failing charges kind of sucked. But that plan kind of worked out over there. And then we are going to go to combat and see how things go. And I forgot to record it at the beginning of my turn. But I rolled a 1 on the tree for Contagion. So I come up with 5 Contagion points for this turn. I'll be using one of my command points uh, to let this unit attack first because they're Hemdar and they're wholly within 12 of a, um, of a hero. So these Hearthcore Berserkers will be able to attack first. So while Raphael is piling in, I realized that that was just a stupid move that I made because I would have had that objective over there. However, now Raphael is piling in because I charged him. And he will be able to get more guys onto that objective than I will. 
So I will not be able to score that objective this turn, and that move is kind of wasted. All right, so first round of attacks. He got 10 dudes in. They did 11 wounds. I was able to save a few of them, and then I rolled out of the box on my saves for Disgusting Resilience and only took six damage off of that one so i'm going to throw six damage on one of my guys and i do not lose any models and i get to pile in back all right so all my attacks off of the pus i was able to get three of them into combat and was able to kill two hearthguard berserkers and get one wound onto another dude so overall not a terrible combat but it was definitely not a good move for me to be uh moving that onto the objective there or in making that charge um so that is going to end the turn you are immune to battle shock correct yes because i'm within 12 of the objective all right and so then i'm going to be scoring three points one for this guy one for this guy one for that guy over there and going over to bottom of the first battle round for Raphael. All right, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the Rune of Fury. You're recording. You're recording? Okay. Um, you can reroll Heroes of One for attacks made with friendly fire layer units. And on a six up, let's see if I get it. Didn't get it. So it would have been add one to attack characteristics of melee weapons used by fire slayer. So it would have even made it more deadly. Um, I'm going to cast, not cast, I'm going to. Um, one second. It's almost like we haven't played this game in six months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Um, I'm going to just cast my prayer, Ember Storm. Uh, any unit wholly within 18 of this hero could run and charge. Okay. It's on a three up and then i got a plus one as well got it so these guys are going to be able to run and charge and they're the ones that attack twice as well yep this is the unit that attacks twice so they're the ones that are going to push my poo in <laughs> yes um and then uh the battlesmith is gonna raise his uh icon of rimnir and is gonna give a bubble of a plus one to save for uh fire slayers 12 and in 12 inches holy within him um, and then on a four up, I get a command point. I didn't get it. So I, I'm going to just cast my invocation. It's on a three up. Got it. Uh, firewall is going to come out. All right. So the firewall went right in front of my big unit of blight Kings. I wonder what he's planning. All right, so going into movement. So um, these guys moved in four inches. These guys uh, came out of the tunneling after the movement phase. So I'm going to charge here with a nine of the Black Kings. After it's... much pondering in that ending up being like the pussy move, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, We can be conservative sometimes. It's fine. It's not always YOLO. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that Magma Droth, after further consideration, is going in the other direction. We got 18 shots, hitting on fives, and wounding on fives, so. At least they're shitty at shooting. Yeah. All right, so so how many <laughs> how many wounds were done by that set of 18 shots? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> nothing like... at all. So this Puscoil Blight Lord over here that's got one wound left, just had a whole bunch of, what were they, shields thrown at him? Axes. Axes, whatever the fuck they are, stupid fire slayers. <laughs> Dumb murder babies. They can't even throw axes when they're two inches away. <laughs> okay, okay, we got nine over here. Oh, so now you're throwing nine over on the other side. Good. All right, so for those nine on the other side? <laughs> None. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> So right. those those Blight Kings remain unscathed, although I feel like some bad shit's about to happen to them. <laughs> so this guy's going to shoot fives, okay. And I think this is a four for him. And the Rune Father. 
failed. And this guy. Nope, failed. Everything failed. All the shots failed. <laughs> Right. Every shot failed. <laughs> they are the only dwarves in the world that are bad at shooting. Yep. The Rune Father on Magma on Magma Drop has this ability, Roaring Fire Stream. So because he's within six of the, what are these guys called? Pascoa Blight Lords. The Blight Lords. Um, on a four, on a four or less, they'll do D six mortal wounds on them. Watch me fail. Cause I okay good. I got it. So these guys are going to take a D6, six mortal wounds. All right, so I get six disgusting resilient saves. And we get, oh my God, I failed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one guy dead and then five wounds on another dude. So we're going to charge into them. We got... Five inches. Fail that. Um, you do have the command point in the bank. Rerolling it? Yeah, I'm gonna reroll it. Fail that. <laughs> so you failed a five up twice? <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. I feel like the luck is swinging back in my direction now. All right, great. So we got uh, a nine. Guys, yeah, nine inches over here. Got that too. And then those guys are all already in combat, except for the magma drop. Yep. So we're gonna do that. That's supposed to be five inches. Got it. Exactly five. What's going on today? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, you're giving me the ass end? <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to pile in over here and attack. Alright, so they did 18 wounds to me. Um, I saved a couple, then had my Disgusting Resilience saved, so I'm taking a total of 12 damage. So it's going to be two on this guy. Um, and then that's going to be another seven for nine and then three on the last guy. Okay, so I am not in base contact over here, so I can make a little pile and move. Just get just a little bit. And then I think that's going to take the Magma Droth out of combat. Yep. Well, yep. Magma Droth is out of combat. Not that that really helps me that much, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna go to making some attacks with this Pusquail Blight Lord that is now lonely. So I just whiffed on everything with that last Pusquail Blight Lord. So he's uh, he's just gonna sit there and uh, be ugly. So I lost three Pusquail Blight Lords out of that unit this turn, and they are bravery eight. So that means I can fail Battle Shock. So let's see what happens. I got a four plus three lost is seven, which is less than their bravery of eight. So they are good. And that is going to be it for the turn. And Raphael is going to be scoring two points for the center and the right objective. But this lonely left objective just over here. Lonesome. All alone. Nobody loves it. At the end of the turn, the invoke I have to roll for the invocation. So on a three up, on a three up, three up, it stays. If I fail, it, it it gets removed. So I get a plus one because I'm next to the forge. So we'll see how this ends up. Oh, it stays. Boo! So after the first battle round, the score is three to two, and I've got one command point in the bank. So on to the second battle round. All right, roll off for second battle rounds. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I got the priority. So it means I am going to be taking the turn. However, Raphael gets to remove 
an objective from the board if he so chooses. So what will he do? This Removing one. that one. All right. Okay. So moving on to my turn two. How much trouble are you in? Big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have used that command point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Well, I mean, you also should have like run with those guys because they could run and shoot. <laughs> yes. And not not run for their <laughs> for their five up five up shooting attack. <laughs> so. Let's just remind everybody, this is our first game, really, since uh, the start of COVID. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really played in six months, so mistakes were made. <laughs> All right, start of my turn. I roll four. My Contagion from the Feculent Gnarl Maw. So it's a D3, so that's a two. I am still unopposed in my territory, and I have troops in my enemy territory, so that is 7, plus the 2 is 9, adding to my 5 that I already had, going up to 14. Greedy. Yeah. Alright, so rolling for Virulent Discharge, I will roll first for my Pusquale Blightlord to see if he heals, and he does not. And then we'll roll to see if I do any Mortal Wounds to the Hearthguard Berserkers. And I do not. At the start of the battle round, the cycle of contagion moved over to nauseous revulsions. So I reroll my opponent rerolls wound rolls of six or more for attacks uh, against my units. All right, so the great unclean one is going to stab himself to get plus one to cast, and we are going to cast glorious afflictions over on that unit of hearthguard berserkers. Uh, so this would half their move and charge rolls. Oh, I'm sorry, half their uh, move and run rolls. This goes off on a five. Succeeds on a seven. Got anything to say about it? No. You got nothing? No. Nothing. Okay. Then he is going to stab himself again. And he is going to uh, cast the Soul Snare Shackles. That goes off with a vengeance on a 12. All right, and so since this unit of Hearthguard Berserkers got slowed down, decided to go over here and throw the shackles on this other unit of Hearthguard Berserkers to hopefully slow them down as well. All right, so that's it for the hero phase. We are going to now move on to movement, and Raphael's about to be really unhappy after he's already kind of pissed at himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right so at the start of the movement phase i didn't realize that i placed that shackle within six inches of those putrid blight kings so we'll see if they get half movement not only do they get half movement they get d3 mortal wounds two mortal wounds good good way to start this all right so movement phase over here these guys just kind of bunched up near the objective trying to hide from those Hearthguard Berserkers over there. Great Unclean One moved up. This big unit of Blight Kings moved up and around that wall because they got like all the buffs in the world to their movement. Um, and that Puscoil Blight Lord retreated out of combat. And over here, those Putrid Blight Kings ran away onto that objective. And over here, we just kind of formed a wall around the objective. Now it is time for summoning. Summoning is the best part of the game. All right, so at the end of the movement phase, I summoned in five plague bearers over here to cushion the blow on that objective. And then that's going to bring me down to seven contagion in the bank. All right, so with that, um, all of my units are out of combat and I have no shooting. Actually, wait a second. We got some shooting. Hold on. Let's go to the shooting phase. All right. So the Blight Kings ran, so they cannot shoot. However, the Lord of Blights did not run, and he is within range of those Hearthguard Berserkers. So he is going to take his one shot. He is going to chuck ahead. Does he hit? He hits. 
Does he wound? Ah, oh, he fails. All right, so I am going to end my turn right there. I still have this objective over here. Still got this one over here. This turn capturing that objective. And over here at the center objective, I have more models within six inches. So I capture that one as well. So I am gaining four points this turn. So I'm going to pick Rune of Awaken and Steel. So this improves all the Fire Slayers uh, to the Rend when they attack. Um, okay. And on a six, nothing happens. Yep. So what I'll do now, I'll, uh, I'll cast his prayer. He'll, he'll pray his prayer. And it is Ember Storm. On a three up. Got it. They're going to run in charge. And they're going to run in charge this time and make it. Um, I'm going to pray empowerment on these guys. They'll roll all fail wound rolls. Got it. So these guys are re-rolling all failed wounds. And let's just cast the invocation now. This is on a three up as well, the flame spitter. I got it. You gotta so fail good. something eventually. I know. Perfect. All right, and then on a four up, I get an extra command point. Got it. So I got an extra command point as well. Puts me down to two. All right, and then he's gonna raise the icon of Grimnir, and he's gonna give them an aura of a, a plus one to save. And that is my hero phase. Right, right. these guys are gonna run and charge. Six. So we just realized we forgot about the soul snare shackles and both units of Hearthguard Berserkers and the hero that are over there within range all uh, got affected by the shackles. So we gotta rewind a little bit of movement and uh, Figure it out. All right. So you explain your movement situation. So I moved in. <laughs> so these guys are have to run and to move and and and, and charge. So they just move two inches. Um, <laughs> um, these guys. We we after we fixed everything. Uh, these these guys lost uh, a couple inches away. So they got a four inch charge. Here they moved a total of four inches to their movement after the deduction because of the shackles and these guys move two inches as well so everybody except this hero here got affected by the shackles yep that's that sucks yeah. <laughs> so everybody except these three in the back all right so they're all taking shots yep let's see if they do as embarrassingly bad as last time all right, so these guys managed to get two wounds onto Blight Kings after saves, so they're doing something finally. Finally. You got right. shots other so places? Yep, yeah, ten, 10 shots over here. All right. Let's roll them up. Let's see how embarrassing this is. All right. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. And they're rolling all failed wounds. All Good all thing. Them. Three. Three, all right. Minus one run because of the, the seal that I picked. All right, so five ups. Saved one, taken two, so that is one de guy down. And one more wound onto the Pusquil Blight Lord. Four inch charge and a three inch charge over here. Just hope I don't fail this. Well, three and a half, all right, so. Got it on a six. All right, so we forgot about the invocations, but you are doing, you're shooting this unit of Blight Kings? This unit. You're this, picking that unit. Yeah, so you're rolling 10 dice against them? 12 dice, and because there's 10 or more um, on fives, they're just one more to wound each. Yep. 
One. Feel okay about this. One. Four. Four mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, lose a guy. So the, the fate riddled <laughs> charge over here. So this is eight. That's four inches. Because they're half to charge. Yep. So they made it. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go into combat with this unit. And then after that, I'm going to use a command point to make them attack first. So they'll go and then they'll go and then we're going to go into the... So we're going to roll now. Okay. All right. So over here, the first round with those Hearthguard Berserkers killed four Blight Kings. However, time to spin the roulette wheel on two ups. Do Mortal Wounds back. So three mortal wounds back to those. All right. So that was the end of a messy combat phase. So this whole unit of Blight Kings, as well as the Summoned Plague Bearers, all got wiped out. And four of the Blight Kings in this middle group got wiped. And the last Puscoil also bit the dust. Did... Take a few casualties to the Fire Slayers, though. I think I killed nine total? Yep, nine. Nine? So that's... that That's disappointing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, moving on to Battleshock for your guys. Any of you guys take Battleshock? They're within the objective, so they ignore Battleshocks, and they're fully within 12. Yeah, they should be. Should be fine. All right, so you are fine on battle shock tests. So you're scoring three objectives. Five. I'm at five now. Five to your seven. Yep. So the end of the second battle round, it is five to seven. I've got two command points in the bank. Raphael has one command point in the bank, and we move on to the turn. The battle round three priority roll. No, wait, um, right. And to see if the invocations go away real quick. So, three up. There, that stays. Three up. That stays. All right, so the invocations do not go away. All right, battle round three priority roll. I got a four. <laughs> Raph got a three. So I am taking priority in this battle round as well. Which means Raphael gets to remove another objective from the field. Removing that one. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. We'll see how that goes. All right. So I got 10 contagion points this turn. And this cycle goes to rampant disease. So D3 enemy units are getting D3 mortal wounds each. Let's roll up that D3. Two. This unit of Hearthguard Berserkers over there. You get three mortal wounds. Four up. Kill one more. All right, and then this unit of Hearthguard Berserkers in the middle, they get two. Four up. They're good. All right. Okay, so my Great Unclean One is going to stab himself to get plus one to cast. And we are going to try for Foul Regenesis to move the cycle of corruption. And we roll up a seven plus one is eight. So that is successful. We are going to move the cycle over to Unnatural Vitality, which is plus two to movement. Then for our second spell, uh, I'm going to have the Great Unclean One stab himself again. And we are going to try to uh, give glorious afflictions to that same unit of Hearthguard Berserkers over there. Goes off on uh, 10. So they are half move, half charge, half run. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. Um, and I do have a unit of Blight Kings in combat. So uh, they are at full health on all their guys. On a six, uh, we'll do Mortal Wounds. Nope, roll the one. 
So nothing there. And I'll be back after the movement phase. All right. So with that move to Unnatural Vitality, plus two to move, the Blight Kings that were over here made it all the way up there. Great Unclean One scooched back a little bit. These Blight Kings retreated out of combat to over here. These guys also backed up, and I summoned a unit of Plague Bearers over here to block the path. And with that, I am not going to declare any charges. I'm not in range to shoot anything. So I'm just going to call that my turn. So we just totally forgot about uh, the combat for Gut Rot Spume. So we were just doing that over there. And uh, Gut Rot was able to kill another guy. And uh, he struck back and totally whiffed with five dudes. Now I want to tell you a little tale about Gut Rot Spume. He is like the unsung MVP of my army. He always rolls with ridiculous luck. Um, there was one time where he got attacked by a Tenebral Shard with a Sword of Judgment, and for, I think, three combats in a row, he used his ability with his tentacles to shut down the one weapon on the Tenebral Shard, making it completely useless and eventually killing the Tenebral Shard. Um, he always does weird, valuable stuff like this. He's just kind of always... I don't know. He he's worth his points. He brings the Blight Kings in and then he does some weird other thing in the game that is very valuable. Right now he's tying up some Hearthguard Berserkers and uh, being an overall distraction in the corner. So anyway, we got to roll for the second round of attacks with those Berserkers and I'm going to cry a little. All right. So the second round of combat did it and Gut Rot is no more. I'm going to do the Rune of L uh, Relentless Seal for my turn. So all my Fire Slayers gain uh, plus two to their movement. On a six, they get uh, plus two to their charge. Close. All right, so now we'll cast the prayer over here. And on a, on a three up, they're able to run and charge. Got it on a six. So he has a forge key. So he's within 18 of these guys. They're going to be able to um, reroll all wound rolls. Got it. So they're good. They're going to be able to reroll all wound rolls. Yep. But they are still half move, run, and charge. Actually, just going over there because he's within 18 of everybody. Yeah. These guys, these guys are gonna reroll all wound, all wound rolls because they're within eighteen. Okay. Fully within eighteen. All right. So these guys are gonna be able to reroll all wound rolls. He's gonna lift the icon of Grimnir, and he's gonna be able to give them a plus one to their save. And on a four up, the Rune Father is gonna give me another command point. Got it. So I got another extra command point. I got three. Um, that is my hero face. All right, so the soul snare shackles go off and they snag this unit and this unit. No mortal wounds, but half movement on both. And we already had half movement on this unit. So they are now at one quarter movement. And even with their rune buff, they're moving two inches, and their runs and charges will be halved. All right, so after movement, these Hearthguard Berserkers moved up. Those guys shimmied a little bit, and these guys took one step forward. And the heroes over here ran away like cowards because they are really afraid of five little Blight Kings. So here we go. On to charges. So... Really? Charging those Hearthguard Berserkers? Mm -hmm. Six. Ooh, I don't mind that. That's not terrible. Six inch charge over here. Failed. Mm -hmm. We're going to use a command point. Okay. Just change the dice. Oh my god. Failed again. And then we have these guys over here. Are they going to try and make a charge? 
Yep. I got three, three and a half. All right, so they got to roll at least a six to uh, make this charge into the great unclean one. And they fail. Two and a half. All That's right. Three. Are you gonna take the reroll, or are you? Uh, gonna... I can't do it twice, right? Yeah, I can do it twice. Yeah, you can do it twice in one turn. Why not? Got it. Seventh. There you go. Three. All right. So after a very messy combat phase, the great unclean one took seven wounds and uh, two. Uh, Hearthguard Berserkers died in return. And then over here, Lord of Blights and one Blight King bit it and then killed several Hearthguard Berserkers and my Plague Bearers also bit the dust. So, with that, uh, I am contesting this objective uh, and I have that objective over there and Raphael has that one and that one. So he scores two more points. So that brings the score up to 9 to 7 at the end of the third battle round. All right, and rolling to see if those invocations go away. That one goes away. Okay. They both go away. All right. All right, battle round three, priority roll. Oh, he gets the double turn. <laughs> And at the beginning of the battle round, the cycle moves to Feck and Vigor, so all of my guys are plus one to wound. Start of your hero phase. I'm going to play the rune of Searing Heat. If the unmodified wound rolls for attacks made by friendly Fire Slayer unit is a six, add a one to damage characteristics of that weapon for the attack. All right, so I get a command point. I'm, I have two now. On a four up, he gets another one. I get another one, so I got three. Um, we're gonna play his. Uh, we're gonna cast his his prayer, and his prayer is searing heat. Uh. At the start of the hero phase, one friendly model that knows this prayer can chant it. If they do make a prayer roll on a one or a two, the prayer is not answered. On a three, the prayer is answered. The prayer, if this prayer is answered, pick an enemy unit with an 18 of this priest. Subtract one to hit rolls for attacks made by that unit until the next hero phase. So on a three up, this unit is going to be minus one. No, failed it. Um, what else I have? I know I have something else. Oh, the icon of Grimnir. I'm gonna raise it, and he's gonna have the aura to uh, plus one to to save. And he's just gonna he's gonna do one of the invoca uh, cast one of the invocations. Uh, three up. Failed it. I'm failing everything. Um, that is it, I think. That's it for, for my hero face. All right, Shackles started the movement phase for the unit of Hearthguard Berserkers. They are halved. And then the priest that's over there. He is also halved. All right, so end of the movement phase. These Hearthguard Berserkers moved up, as did the Magma Droth. So making some moves. Let's see what is going to happen in shooting and charges. Uh, end of the shooting phase, nothing happened over here, but the Great Unclean One did take another wound. So after charges, these guys made a charge in, and no other charges? Yep, or are you going gonna, with the Magma uh, Drop? Magma Drop going to charge as well. 
six. Yeah, you made it. Plenty of space. Yeah. Really want that great unclean one bad. <laughs> all right, so end of combat. Almost all of my Blight Kings get wiped out. I do have to make a Battle Shock roll. And they are still good. So he's got two wounds left on him. Over here, my great unclean one died. Um, I'm still holding that objective over in the corner. Raphael's got these two objectives, so he is scoring two right now. So we're tied. So we are tied. And I'm going to make my turn really quick. I'm going to retreat out of combat. And uh, get my contagion. So I get four contagion, or six contagion. So I go up to 16. Um, and I have really nothing else to do with said contagion other than I am... I'm going to summon Plague Bearers. So I just summon 10 Putrid Blight Kings, not Putrid Blight Kings, Plague Bearers, off of the Feculent Gnarl Maw over there. And that's going to be my turn and the end of the battle round. So we're going into battle round five. All right, so the priority role now is basically going to determine the winner of the game. If Raphael wins the die roll, he will opt to go second, pull my objective, and then I will not be able to score, and he'll score two points, pulling him into the lead by one. If I win priority, I choose to go second, I pull one of his objectives, then he would have to make a charge into my units here and successfully beat through enough of them to... Uh, hold on to that objective so the question is who gets priority and then can he make that charge so let's find out a fateful die roll oh i get it so i'm pulling an objective from your side and it goes to your turn all right for my turn i'm gonna pick the rune of your uh, farsight it gives me plus one to hit, plus one to hit for the throwing axes when I when I'm shooting. So I'll be hitting on on fours, and on a six I get a plus one to wound. So I didn't get that. I'm gonna pray for empowerment. I didn't get it. All right. So there's really not much I could do in my hero face, and I get another command point to. On a four up, I get another one. Fail that one as well. So I have two command points. I'm going to raise the icon of Grimnir. So he gives the aura of a plus one. And we're going into movement. All right. All right. So after movement, these guys have moved up. And so has the Magma Droth and the Hero to get ready for some attacks. But first, we have some shooting. So how do we do in the shooting phase? So it's uh, seven guys, and these guys are minus one to hit, as well, to hit right? So it's, yeah. it evens it out to seven. I mean, um, to fives. So fives. And five. So one went through into the Plague Bears. Okay. Plague bearers. Five up save. Saved it. Saved it. Good. Um the rune father. Fives. Failed. This guy can't do anything. Three. And none. Four. None. That is, that is that. All right. So, on to charge, charge phase. So, the whole game now, I think, basically comes down to 
this charge. Can he make the charge? Four. Is four going to do it? No, it does not. Nope. I'm going to use a command point. All right. Rerolling. Switching out the dice. I'm down to one command point. Got it on an eight. Oh, all right. All right. So here's what it looks like after that charge. So it is time to pile in and attack. So four going into the Blight Kings, five going into the Plague Bearers, correct? Yes. All right. These are some important die rolls. Ooh. Is this into the plate into the Black Kings? Five. Ooh. Into the Black Kings. Okay. Minus one. Five into the Blight Kings. Looking for fives. Oh my god, I saved them all. I literally just saved them. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I saved them all. Amazing. Crazy, man. All right. <laughs> 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So now into the plague bears. Yep. They should be super dead. Hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minus one run. Eight. Four. Eight. Looking for sixes. Got one six. Uh, so then that is... What, seven? So 14 now. Mm -hmm. You don't get you get saves too. Yeah, I get after saves oh, okay. oh. on those guys. I mean, they're pretty garbage. Other than that, so all right, so five ups. Let's see. That is one, two, three, four, five, six dead guys. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six dead guys. Okay, time for piling in attacks back. Plague bearers attacking fours and threes. Ooh, we actually got three hits. Threes to wound. Uh, of course, they failed completely. And then we have our attacks over here. This Blight King is basically just dead. All right. He is totally dead. We're going over to these Blight Kings over here. All right. So I have nine models remaining. Raphael has 15 models remaining within six inches. So I need to kill seven models. So that's 14 damage. With these putrid Blight Kings. Let's make it happen. Alright, so here we go. Blight King attacks. Oh, that is only one six. And a couple of ones and twos. And for that six, it is just one extra die. So I don't believe this is going to be enough to do it. I'm minus one to wound. One, two, three, four, five, six fails. Six successes. So it's not possible for me to kill them off. So that means the game goes to Wrath. 
All right, so that was the crazy game. Came down to the last combat on the last turn. Uh, and victory for the Fire Slayers by one victory point. So, what were your thoughts on the game? How did you feel about it? It went well. You know, even though we didn't... It's been a while. It's been like six months since we played. Yeah. But it went, it, it went really well. Um, uh, now I know that in the future, just to not get greedy and just make my charges. But everything uh, went well. And... Uh, in, in 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 the future, I just I want to try out the uh, the different um, axes with the fire slayers that do mortal wounds on sixes. But yeah, that's yeah. something I want to try out. But everything went well, and uh, it, it everything went pretty good. Yeah, I, I was definitely impressed with how well Nurgle can hang right now. Um, I feel like the dice weren't particularly good or bad for either of us, so it was like pretty like pretty fair die rolls so um in terms of like board presence um i definitely got dominated for a lot of the game but in terms of playing the objectives um i was able to keep things together and keep it to a really tight game so i think nurgle right now is in a really good spot you know being able to hang with fire slayers and you know almost pull out a win is uh, I think really good. It's a really good sign, and I have more list tinkering to do. I've got a million list ideas. This is just uh, one that seemed cool and fun. Um, I really like Glorious Afflictions. I hadn't. I've always been previously using favored poxes. Mm -hmm. um, that's the minus one to hit, wound, and save. But like between Glorious Afflictions and the Shackles, like it hurts your movement yeah. so much. Like, that was a major factor in this game that, that I just had movement debuffs that he could do nothing about, and his guys were base four-inch move to begin with. Yeah, I was moving one inch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one, one inch. inch. <laughs> and, and half my charging as well, so. Um, and that's one thing that Fire Zers, they don't they lack having the speed, so you just made it even harder for me to make it to the objectives or to attack. So that yeah. was the biggest, the biggest thing that I liked about, and um, Nurgle. The, this list, it felt like I was playing another, a similar list, like a like a, a chaos fire slayers build in a way, because they they hit just as hard as fire slayers. It was it was really good. It was this list was pretty good. Yeah, it, I liked your list a lot as well. <laughs> like it, it, it just does all the things it's supposed to do. Um, I initially looking at it i'm like oh you only have like three offensive blocks of guys and a bunch of heroes and a magma drop i'm like that seems questionable no no it's not it is it is good um you can definitely hold on to those objectives and play the long game and it still works out so that also makes me think about retooling my nurgle lists and seeing uh you know maybe running those a little bit differently so, all together, this was a fantastic game. Looking forward to doing more battle reports like this. Leave questions and comments down below if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up, as always. If you're new here, like and subscribe. And we will see you all next time. See you guys.